In this chapter, you'll learn about drawing and SketchUp by building a simple model of a house. I'll provide step-by-step -step instructions on how to use the basic drawing functions, including creating lines, planes, and rectangles, and how to use the push-pull tool. I'll also show you how to use the offset tool and introduce you to creating groups. Let's get started. First, a few basics. Begin by selecting the line tool, which looks like a pencil, from the toolbar and try drawing a line. To do this, you'll need to select the first point and a second point. You can also draw lines by selecting a first point, a direction, and then entering the length of the line you want. I'll enter 10 feet and you'll see that appear in the lower right hand corner of the screen. Continue drawing lines to form a rectangle. And you'll notice how when lines form an enclosed area, a plane is created, which is the dark shaded area inside of the lines. Lines and planes are the two basic elements of SketchUp models. Planes can be manipulated using the push-pull tool, which you'll find on the toolbar. Select the tool and the plane, and drag up to create a box. You can see we've now created a 3D object from the 2D plane. But the resulting object isn't solid, rather it's a cube comprising six planes. You can see this by selecting and erasing one plane to look inside. Selecting and erasing lines also erases any planes that are defined by those lines. Now let's create the foundation for our house. To create the base, begin by drawing a line starting at the origin point of the axes and drawing along the red axis for a distance of 36 feet. Do the same thing along the green axis. and back to the origin point to complete the base. Now we'll use the offset tool, which you'll find on the toolbar, to create a six inch offset inside of the base that we've drawn. To create offsets, begin by selecting and highlighting the plane, and then the edge, and type the distance that you want to offset. You can see that this creates another rectangle inside the, the rectangle we used as our base. Now using the push-pull tool, we'll extend that outer area and pull that up two feet to create the foundation for our house. We can select and delete the interior area. Remember to click just once so that you only have highlighted the plane. If you double click, it'll highlight the plane and bounding edges. We just want to erase the plane and preserve the outer edges of our foundation. Now I want to select the objects we've just created and create a group. To do this, click and hold down while dragging across the screen. Dragging left to right only includes objects that are fully included in the selection area. If you click and drag from right to left, it will include any object that's included in the selection area. Right click and select Make a Group. This bunches the lines and planes together as a single object. Now the lines and planes that we've selected will be grouped together as one object, and we can continue to complete our model without affecting what we've already created. Next, we'll create the floors and walls. Using the rectangle tool, create a rectangle 36 feet by 36 feet, and you can do this on top of the foundation. Using the offset tool, we will create a six inch offset again. Using the push pull tool again, we'll extrude this exterior wall to a height of 10 feet. Now we'll select and group the walls that we just created. Double clicking selects the plane and its bounding edges, and triple clicking selects everything that's touching or associated with that plane that's not part of another group. We'll select all the walls in the floor and right click to make a group. This is the end of the fourth chapter. Please join me in the next chapter where we'll continue with this model and you'll learn more about some of the auto functions in SketchUp.